though I'm no longer the age of our student athletes, I still feel connected to them. I try to just really enjoy our experiences. Oh, say, can you see the Yeah, I like to sing, I like to act, you know, I don't mind the camera, I don't mind the microphone. If you give me a live mic, that's your fault. He killed it. He slayed it. He's not afraid to put himself out there or make a fool of himself for his team. He thinks practice is Broadway. That's his, his go-to. No, we told you we weren't going to sing. You can't sing anymore. I was being your backup. They roll their eyes at him a lot. Na, 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 na. They listen to what he has to say and they know he's trying to help them be their best. Push the glass, over. Okay, go again. And this time I want you to go slow to fast. Build speed in your approach. You're just, you're sauntering, right? Increase speed. Now, hiya! There you go, dude. Matt pretty much grew up in the gym from the time he was born. I grew up in the Midwest, in the suburbs of Chicago. My mom was high school volleyball coach at Stevenson High School. And then she got the head coaching job at Carthage College in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And then I followed her up to Carthage, and we actually started the men's program while I was there. I made the decision to become a coach because I love being a part of a team. Um, that has never changed. You know, I just love the relationships that you build when you're in a team dynamic. He cares about us as people first before players. We each come into this program and feeling so welcomed by him and like a part of his family. Oh my god, okay, bye. You like his outfit? <laughs> Do you wish you had an Oregon onesie? He has energy all the time. All the time. And he never fails to like make jokes or like try to lighten things up maybe when the mood is down. High five? Oh, she left you. It happens, pal. It happens. He's unapologetically him, and I love that. And so his, his personality and my personality are similar in, in those regards. We are not shy individuals. I probably act like a five-year-old. He acts like a seven-year-old. That's the kind of deception I'm talking about. They don't know where that's being set, you know? You can't read this. I think that is almost his superpower, I would say, right? Connecting with players is his personality and passion and consistency with that. He wrote a book. Protect your fingers, give me a palm. He was probably third yeah. grade. And it was about a superhero and his superpower would be to tell jokes. Okay, Colby. Just pick it up the trash, Colby. It's not transactional, it's not just a business. For me, it's really, you know, if we win, that's great, but that's not my number one priority. So how are we going to have fun? You know, how are we going to grow in our relationships? I don't mind making fun of myself. I don't mind being silly. And I know the team definitely doesn't mind making fun of me. Can you do a handstand? Yeah. For Halloween, I thought it would be a great idea to dress up as Matt because I think Matt would just love to see himself. And that's a tall task because my hair is pretty awesome. So even before this interview, Matt just suggested to do silent charades in the waiting room as we were waiting. Anything that we can do together, um, or that I can bring in our other students on campus. Come on, Ducks! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I know you know this! Hey! That's a huge passion of mine because what I know growing up and know now is how amazing our student athletes are and how hard our student athletes work. I just want everybody to acknowledge and see that, be a part of it, and try to bring as many people together as possible. <laughs>